On a whim, I picked up this Focal MC Auto 28mm f2.8 without knowing much about it. It was in excellent condition and sold at an incredibly low price. I didn't find out until later on though that the name Focal is synonymous with a lens brand made by Kmart back in the early 1980s. Curious to see how this off-brand lens compared to others, I decided to put it to the test. Let's check it out. This lens litters the Bay, Amazon, and Craigslist, coming in a variety of mounts including Minolta, Canon FD, Pentax K, Olympus OM, and the M42 screw mount. Despite the stigma of this being a Kmart lens, the build quality is surprisingly good. Some parts are plastic, but most of the lens's body is made from metal. It's also exceptionally heavy for its small size. The focus ring is smooth with a large area of contact and the aperture ring is snappy. It sticks a little, but not enough to be too concerned about it. I haven't had the chance yet, but I'm told the lens is very easy to disassemble, clean, and make any adjustments if you ever feel inclined to do so. Right off the bat, I knew this lens wasn't going to be very sharp, and there was no surprise there. The images don't seem to sharpen up until you reach f8 and above but even then it's not as sharp as I'd like it to be. On top of this, there's noticeable chromatic aberration, ghosting, and busy bokeh, which gives the images at lower apertures an ethereal-like quality. There's plenty more issues to nitpick about the optical quality of this lens, but that could make for a boring video. Simply put, the Focal MC Auto 28mm f2.8 is cheap for a reason. It shoots less than ideal images according to our strict photographic standards. Now I know why there's so many of these lenses online for sale at such a low price. Shooting with this lens has made me appreciate the others I own, especially the lenses I picked up for $100 or less. I'd argue that this is the kind of optical quality you can expect to get from a lens at this price, but that's certainly not the case with other cheap alternatives. For example, the Canon FD 28mm f2.8 is probably one of the cheapest and most affordable wide-angle lenses available in the FDN lineup. I picked mine up for about $15 more than I bought this Focal 28mm. Now comparing the two side by side, it's pretty clear which lens is the better performer. The results are incredible considering I spent only a few extra dollars more for the FDN 28mm. Canon FD lenses are not without their faults either, but it's obvious how much of a bargain they are compared to other cheap alternatives. Now I know why it's so hard to find FDs in good condition online. Personally, I'd buy a focal 28mm only if I saw it at a yard sale or thrift shop for $10 or less. Click on the links provided to learn more about these lenses. Product links are included in the description below. And as always, feel free to subscribe and visit filmformat.com for more filmmaking reviews and tutorials from yours truly. Thanks for watching.